Well, guys, I've not made a video in a long time, and I'm probably pretty rusty at it. I've gone through some stuff, but a new version of Windows 11 came out, and I figure we should jump right into it. Now, I'm just going to pop this over here on this screen. This is the build number. It will also pop up at the beginning of the video because I'm a video editing god, not. And there's a few changes and improvements for starters, you know, it, uh, Microsoft Teams now supports multiple languages. It's great. Uh, they're introducing a new Microsoft 365 widget. I don't know if anybody's ever going to use that, but if they do, you know, that's pretty cool to have your work just really handy in the widgets bar. Now, they've made a ton of fixes, of course. This is going to be a really short video. Trust me. There's a bunch of known issues. I'm just going to scroll through them real quick. None of them are really worth reading. Ooh, except for the Bluetooth. What? We're investigating reports from insiders with paired devices that are experiencing an increase. Oh, no. I use Bluetooth all the time. Well, I have not had any issues, so that should be fine. Yes, we are working on to improve the search relevance. That would be great. There's a lot of spammy, crappy apps on the Windows App Store, and hopefully they can get rid of that. All right, so... They're going to roll out a new version of the App Store, which will allow the overhaul of the library UI. Now, I have not updated the store in a very, very long time. So I guess we could take a look real quick at it and see what it looks like right now without updating. We've got something to show you. So this is what it looks like now. Oh, it modified today automatically. Never mind. I guess I don't get to see the old one. Ah, uh, it looks. Really well done. I really do like it. I mean, we got it separated into games. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, here here's something that really pissed me off. I bought Age of Empires Definitive Edition on this, and I can't even play it anymore. You notice how it's grayed out. And if I asked them to give me a refund, they wouldn't. Jackasses. Ugh, Candy Crush. You know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to just... I can't get rid of it. Never mind. Playable Demo... So the update to the library actually looks really nice and looked really clean. Another thing is the we've updated our spotlight design for promoted products. All right, so let's go back into the Windows Store on the front page. Loads very quickly. Oh, they really did too. Look at that. I like how Halo Infinite's on the front. That's That's amazing. Look at that. You remember that little thing that Windows 7 used to do in the taskbar when you would drag your uh, your mouse? That's what's happening right now. Your mouse is the spotlight, and so are the apps that you're viewing. Nice job, Microsoft. You're actually killing it with Windows 11. Okay, in case most of you don't know, there is a bug currently in the Windows Insider um, that affects only Ryzen CPUs, and... Sure, you get overall better thread utilization. You can watch Linus's newest video about that. And in some circumstances, like really crappy old games, like uh, CSGO, you'll lose performance. But it's so minimal, you're not even going to notice the difference. I'm sure Microsoft are clearly aware of this now that Linus has mentioned it. And there should be a fix, hopefully, one day coming soon. Anyway, as I said, short video. I will leave this in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, the like button. Hit the bell to be notified of all future incoming videos. And I'm going to try to get back to a better schedule. Bye, everybody.